In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use um, GCOPS to uh, localize colocalization. So GCOPS is not in uh, MHJ, uh, but the plugin was designed for IC. So we haven't talked about IC. It's another free software to do uh, bioimage analysis. So we're gonna, uh, and it's it's very uh, similar in the in the way that it's also Java. So we're gonna first download it. So let's uh, so let's write IC and bioimage, and we should find it. So we can download it directly. So not for Mac, but for Windows. All right, I'm gonna download it. So it's uh, it's, it's a, a bit large, so I'm gonna speed up the video. You don't have to wait. All right, it's down. So I'm gonna now open download folder, and I have IC. I'm gonna unzip it. All right, let's open it now. So you have an executable file. And um, and so IC is similar um, to Fiji. And you so you have tabs and you also have plugins you can download. So the difference with Fiji is that uh, you just type the plugin you want and then it's gonna install it. And then when it's installed, you can use it again. So I'm gonna... Um, open um, the same image than before. So if I go in my folder and here I have this image. And so you see you can uh, directly uh, look at the channels you want and uh, and you can uh, you can uh, change the range of intensity that is displayed directly in the histogram. You have a histogram here. So we're going to um, use GCOPS. So for GCOPS, we need to, to have uh, masks. So we're just going to look at the uh, localization of colocalization between uh, Golgi, channel 1, and lectin in channel uh, 3, or channel 2 and channel 4. So if I go to uh, this uh, channel tab, I can extract channel 1 and I can extract channel 3. All right, so I'm just going to do a very simple median filtering. So now I have the image that is filtered. I can remove the other one and I'm going to do the same here. All right, so my both images are filtered and I'm going to threshold them. So I can use the thresholder where I manually define it, or I can use the k-means uh, uh, clustering, sorry, or I can use best threshold, which actually is the same thing that you find in, in image J. And I'm going to use uh, Huang, I think it should be fine. So you can preview it if you want. So it's in this one. So that should be fine, even though it's a bit, uh, yeah, it's a bit large. Um, Otsu might be better, I guess. Yeah, so let's do Otsu. So I'm going to define the sequence. So I have masks for this one. And uh, same thing here. That's fine. OK, so now I can actually um, use GCOPS. So when you use a new plugin, as I said, you just type uh, the name of the plugin. It appears here. And so I can click on it and it's going to install it. And when it's installed, uh, it's all, it, it opens here. So uh, you can do several things with GCOPS. So the statistical test just gives you an, a, a p-value. So if I do it between those two, I can start with that. So. This is uh, the threshold did Golgi and the threshold did lectin. I need to define a file here, so I'm gonna uh, actually save it. 
uh, in the same folder then the image is all right I can run and I get the p-value so the p-value is really low because it, it very much colocalized now as I as I told and you have a colocalization score so if the colocalization score is negative it means that you have anti-colocalization like in the Pearson correlation and you can have a, a, a very low p-value with anti-colocalization as well now um, uh, if I want to uh, see where the colocalization is located, I can do a random geocompositioning of the same images. So you can do it on the mask or not. If you look in the cell, for example, you just want to do it inside the cell, you don't want to take into account the background. And I need to define again my uh, result file. So if I go there gonna define the same one so if you define the same one then uh, it just use another tab to give you uh, the results all right and let's run it so basically as gcps is uh, robust to size we can uh, so we can compute a test between uh, two the two entire images what we just did but then we can define small windows and do the test between small windows randomly located in the image and then for all the tests for which the p-value was higher than 0 0.05 it's going to show us white circles if it were anti-colocalization with a p-value inferior to 0 0.05 it would be blue circles so this is really a, a toy example so it's easy here to uh, localize the colocalization but it can be extremely helpful in other cases and as you can see when you do that you have hits uh, in the region where you have you know both lectin and laundry so here 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 and here so that the you need an entire window so that's why you don't have hits in in there because you have um, your we would have half of the window that is outside the image but for the windows where you see both region you see you have some hits so it allows you to say okay my color so i know that i have colocalization between images and this colocalization is, uh, is 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 actually located in those four regions so i'm not going to show you but i can just uh, quickly show you that you have another colocalization tool uh, so you have colocalization studio and you can use uh, soda um, so it's same uh, same developer um, and here so you have quite you know the same tools I show you with image J uh, so with correlation you can also define objects and um, in that case you can uh, actually define uh, so use the replace uh, analysis so you also have p-values uh, when you do that with uh, with this approach so you reduce each object to a point and in this case it doesn't make a lot of sense so that's why i won't do it because if you look at your objects they're large and they don't really represent um, the object if you reduce them to a point that's not going to make a lot of sense but uh, in some cases it makes much more sense if you look at particles inside the cell for example then reducing the objects to point much make much more sense and then you can use this uh, method to also compute p-values for colocalization between uh, between particles for example intracellular particles